and we're live. Happy Sunday, you guys. Well, it's Sunday when I'm recording this now, so welcome. This is Genius Live. I'm Shauna. Today, we're going to talk about clarity. It seems like a lot of people that I know are suffering from lack of clarity. And so today, I want to give you guys the simple way to gain clarity anytime you need it. And actually, in any situation. So let me just turn this down. So this is something that I find so many people, and I work with entrepreneurs and entrepreneurial run brands. And this is something that I find that everyone suffers with. And whatever stage of growth that you're in, whether you're just beginning or you've built a very successful business, at, at every stage in our life, quite honestly, um, we all reach that point where we get unclear. And so today I wanna talk about why that happens and how you can recognize it and quickly move forward. And I'm gonna talk about it in a business sense, but in actuality, this is kind of the simple way to gain clarity in anything in life. When you're struggling to find out the answer to something, Whenever you feel doubt or frustration, these steps will help you gain clarity. And it's not an overnight thing, but it will happen, I promise you. So if you're ready, this is about clarity in your passion. So I, you know, I've worked in, uh, I've been a business strategist for 28 years, but I've worked with entrepreneurs for the, the past seven and honestly everybody that I've worked with struggles with the same thing and it's this lack of clarity in their own vision but I'm gonna say something that if you're struggling with clarity is is may come as a shock to you but deep down you know the truth and this is true for everybody because it happens actually that we as humans have doubts and this is something it doesn't matter if you're the most confident person in the world it doesn't matter if you're Oprah it doesn't matter if you've won countless awards and you're on camera every day everybody has this self-doubt and it really happens I could go into the, a lot of details but <laughs> um, I'll just simplify that it happens between the ages of zero to seven and that's when our personalities are formed and something has happened in your childhood that has caused you, causes everybody, to have this one thing that gets triggered throughout your life. The thing that causes this self-doubt. And you'll find yourself reliving it over and over and over again. So for me, uh, my neighbor called me Chink every day when I would walk to school. I grew up in Indiana and it was at a time, and it's a very small town, and it was at a time when prejudice was really rampant, and um, it just caused me to never own my identity. And so I've always had this need to, um, to look at other people and see how great they are, and I've all, I, I became so good at observing other people that that's what I do in my business now that I spot the spectacular qualities in people. But on the other side, for me, I've always uh, never felt good enough and never owned my own identity. So over the course of my life, I mean, I'm 51 and I've had a successful career, but whenever I have lack of clarity and I have doubt, it's that one issue that gets resurfaced over and over and over again. So whatever that is for you, that's the main cause for it. So you may want to take a look at your past. But when you have a lack of clarity, most people are, that I, at least that I know, you're like hardworking and you want to come to the answer. And so you try and you try harder and you, and you work harder. And what ends up happening then is a lot of beating yourself up in your head. And whether it's conscious or subconscious, when you beat yourself up in your head, then you end up um, creating more doubt, more frustration, and clarity, ideas, creativity 
the thing that most of the time probably comes naturally to you, it you can't have it. It, it just won't surface. There becomes like this gray fog over your head and that becomes just lack of focus, too many ideas, and way overthinking. And so what that means is it's your story. Thank you for the hearts. <laughs> it's your story that you're creating for yourself based on that childhood belief of whatever happened to you when you were a child. And you create a story about these new situations that come up about the thing that you can't get clear about. Let's say you're trying to build your business or you're trying to grow to your next level. And my clients, I know at least, have like a million ideas. Like literally, one of my clients showed me these notes in her phone. Just countless like notes and overwhelming ideas. And it's overwhelming because you have a lot of thoughts. And you don't know which one to do first. And then all this like confusion happens. And the, nothing will come to fruition at that point. So the first thing to do to gain clarity is to stop trying. To literally just stop. And distract yourself. So you've heard this before. I've heard this before. And it's the hardest thing to... Uh, realize, but it's actually the simplest thing, is to go and do something that makes you have fun. Do something and focus on the areas of your life that you're winning. <laughs> so if you're working on another project or you know you have like an amazing body, you love working out, um, you love dancing, listening to good music, go and do that. And do it over and over and over again every single day until you can get your mind off of, thank you, John, until you can get your mind off of what it is that you're, that you're thinking of. And you'll find that, I, for me, I have a daily routine where I go running every day with my dog, Harlow, and I have like a whole morning ritual. And I find no matter what I do, what, I'm, what I went to bed with, all the heaviness, I wake up and the first thing I say to myself is, today is going to be an amazing day. I smile, I reach over and I pet Harlow. And it doesn't matter if I wake up and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so tired. I literally force myself to smile and say, today is going to be an amazing day. And then I go outside and go running and all the endorphins cause you to have an amazing day. If you've ever listened to Tony Robbins, he says, change your state. That's what it's really about. It's just change your thinking, like literally just wipe the slate clean. And it's not that that problem goes away, but ideas come to you when you're happy and creative and not beating yourself up in your head. So just go and distract and go have fun. And you know what that's called? This is gonna sound really strange because everyone I know that I work with, everyone who lacks clarity, has this but it's the one thing you lose when you lack clarity and it's called confidence and so while you may see like these posts about confidence and you're like and what are you talking about i have a successful career why am i lacking clarity confidence is actually it's confidence in the thing that you're doing so moving your body getting those endorphins going makes you have clarity and confidence then when you're ready and confident and clear, go and get out a piece of paper, a journal, and then expand your awareness. Erin Daughtry says this, expand your awareness. But it's really about expanding your perspective. Write down at least, and I'm gonna just challenge you and say 20 different ways that you can come to a solution in that problem that you're lacking clarity in. 20 different, it doesn't matter if they're the craziest ideas ever, but what that causes you to do is start to think outside of the box that you've built. We are not in the box thinkers. At least if you're listening to me, you're not an in the box thinker. And so what we need to do is gain perspective around this thing that is very important to you to gain clarity on. So opening that perspective means you are going to have to 
let go of control. And that is something for me, I'm a control freak, and so it's a very scary idea. While I'm super creative, when it comes down to like the thing I want the most, I, you become fixed in your own story. And expanding your, uh, your perspective helps you just gain new different viewpoints. Don't go asking a million people. Maybe ask them, but don't take any one person's opinion as the, the, the right way. Nobody knows best, but you do. And I'm telling you, those answers are inside of you. Then, I want you to choose one and commit to it. This is a step that most people have a problem with. And a commitment does not mean, I'm going to work on this once a week. I'm gonna come back to this in a couple days. When I feel good, I'm going to work on this. No, a commitment means that you actually make it a daily practice. It doesn't matter if you're starting a business, want to have a, a fucking hot body, um, you want to grow your income, whatever it is. If it's not a daily practice, it will never happen. I don't care how busy you are, but there's this thing called, uh, I, I, uh, I call it, <laughs> the before you go to bed method that before you go to bed, you are gonna work on that thing that you're struggling with. Not tomorrow, not someday, not someday later on your calendar, but I wrote it down, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, I, you have to teach your mind that you're so committed to this, even when you don't wanna be, even when you don't wanna give up. Because then, what you know what ends up happening? Is that it just becomes a daily practice, and you kind of, Forget that you're working on it because you're automatically working on it. And what ends up happening is that now you have a practice of working on it and clarity comes. You start getting ideas. Oh my God, I could do that. You start hearing things that you didn't hear before. Who's this person that just came into my life? Oh my God, they just answered my thing because it's top of mind. There are 11 million bits of information going on at any given time. And we as humans can only recognize 40, four zero. There are cars driving by outside. There's a stunning sunset outside. I wish you could see. There are things I, don't, I can't pay attention to because I can only recognize 40. So if you have a million ideas, different things going on, you have a, a job, a business, kids, Dinner's cooking. You better be making sure that this thing you want is a daily practice. This is something that I think almost everybody forgets, but you need a measurement that you are gonna decide is a sign that it's working. Because if it's not working, you actually need to course correct. So you need to come up in your own mind with the signs that it's working. Like if you're trying to work out and get a fucking hot body, what is a fucking hot body? Is it Giselle Bunchkin? Or is it like, you know, I can see like a muscle. <laughs> what is it for you? There's no right or wrong, but you have to decide what that sign is so that when you recognize it, it you can see that you're going in the right direction. And if you don't see it, then maybe you need to just course correct a little bit. Then, this is the most important part. What I finally did when I was really struggling with lack of clarity last night <laughs> was let go. Like, surrender. Like, why don't you actually just give it up to God, the universe, and say, if this is meant for me, it will happen because we put so much pressure on ourselves and in today's day and age there's so much going on and everybody seems to be winning but everybody is not winning everybody is fighting their own battle and what we need to actually realize is that we're here to be happy it doesn't matter what you do what your goal is what you're lacking clarity in you're here to succeed succeed every single day 
to feel like you're winning even when you're not because you're learning. That's called life. And at the end of your life, you want to live your day every day with no regrets. That you made every day, even if it wasn't a good day, a good day. So give yourself a break. Let go. Surrender. Work hard. But when you can't work anymore, let go. Because I'm telling you, the universe, God, the angels above will come rushing in. Someone will come into your life. An answer will come to you. It happens. It really does. So I hope that that's helped you. Let me know. I'd love to hear what you need clarity in. I'd love to help you. Um, DM me at total underscore genius. Uh, my website is totalgenius.net. I'm Shauna Yao, and I'm here every Sunday with Genius Live. Talk to you guys later. Bye.